Hey guys, Rich here and welcome back to another video. And in this video, it's part two of the public domain slash CC0 images for Redbubble designs. And let's get straight into it. In the previous video, I showed you the first five websites that I found whereby we can use public domain images freely and we haven't got to worry about you know any copyright issues or anything like that and i'm carrying this on with part two and this is part two and we'll get straight into it right now so the first website is this public domain pictures.net great website and we can just simply scroll through or search from the top so if there's anything that you are looking for and i've just seen a b there so i'll type in a b uh, if there's anything that you're looking for you can just simply type it in Forget that bit there at the top because that's all paid stuff. And if we just keep scrolling past and go here, we are then shown all of these different images with bees. So it's going to give you plenty and plenty of options to use in your designs moving forward. And again, you can see there's loads of pages. And if you like the look of a particular bee <laughs> that you've just seen, we can click on it and I'll just show you where we're looking for the public domain. So if I scroll down, you can see here that it says license CC0 public domain, which means that we can use this for commercial projects. To download this, you just simply scroll down here to the free download and we click on free download and it'll download. Simple as that. Now you do have a premium option to download that image at a really high resolution and you can see it's between 0.04 pence and 0.08 pence. So that was the first one, publicdomainpictures.net. Second resource is Unsplash. Now you've probably already heard of Unsplash and I had to put it in here because again, it's a great website. You can see here, search free high resolution photos. So again, if I put in a B, you can see if we scroll down, we have all of these images here that are moving forward of a B that we can use in our designs. So if we click on this one here, you can see here at the top, we have this download free and we can download it as the original size, large, medium and small. So just to show you where we're looking for the public domain slash CC0, we are here free to use under the Unsplash license. So that is Unsplash. So the next website is this website called isorepublic.com. And again, it's a lot like Unsplash and the fact that we can search through thousands of free high resolution stock CC0 images and videos. This is a great website if we're just looking for something for our designs and maybe we can't find it on another website. We come on here and we have a look. It's good to keep these things in our arsenal. And again, if I just do an example of searching for the C and you can see we scroll past these here because that's on Shutterstock, but we can come over to here and we're shown with all these images that are related to the C that we can then use in our designs. So again, prints and things like that. Very useful resource and there's a lot we can use with this even if it's just uploading these images as prints, which again, we could do quite well with, to be quite honest with you. So this is isorepublic.com. The next one is this British Library series here and this is on something called Flickr and you can see if we click on this albums here we can be, then be shown all of these different albums that we can go into and have a look for designs. So if I just scroll up and choose one of these, so maybe this one here, you can have a look at some of these designs. You can see again, just down here, no known copyright restrictions. And again, to download, it's very, very simple. You just click this download link here and you'll download it, okay? So this is British Library and it's on Flickr. Again, like I say, I'll leave the link to these in the description below, but this could prove very, very useful. So if we go back to the album, we can see if there's any other artwork that we can use and there's many 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 different pages there's myths and creatures here so there's going to be lots of different images here that we could use and yeah worrying stuff <laughs> but yeah there's a lot of potential here okay so that's the next one that is the british library the final one for this video here is public domain review and if you click on this collections here, you can then see all of these different images that we can use in our designs. So if I was to click on maybe this one here, you could see if we scroll down that we have Wikimedia Commons as the source. 
So again, we can head over to there and just double check that we are free to use this. You can then see that we just have to find that same image. So this one, which is this, okay. And again, we can see that this is public domain. So we are free to use this. Again, this is a useful website for finding all different types of images that we can use in our designs. There's great potential here and you know, there's a lot of things we can use here to just upload as art prints, if nothing else, okay? Never mind using these to incorporate them in our designs somehow for our t-shirts and things like that, okay? So that's it for this video. I hope that's been useful. If you want to get access to these, I've left a link to these in the description below. Go ahead and click on those links, add them to your own database. I'm going to be collating all of this into my own database as well. So there we go. I hope to see you again in the next video and I'll speak to you again very soon. See you later.